Hey guys, Brian from Progressive Force Concepts here. I have a little barricade set up in front of me. And uh, just in case you haven't heard the news on this, if, uh, if you do in fact want to shoot well, suck up to that barricade as tight as you possibly can, get up on it, uh, bring a sandbag with you and a rucksack, maybe a tripod, uh, maybe a dead camel, and brace off of that thing and get as stable as you possibly can. Uh, if you're interested in actually gun fighting, uh, don't listen to anything that I just said. And for the 900th time, it's a barricade, not a bench rest. On the one-way range, on the shooting range, taking and exposing from around cover, wherein 50% or more of your body is exposed around as you keep a firm power base beneath your feet, you're not gonna get called on it. On the shooting range, the one-way range, bracing with the backs of your hands, bracing with the butt of the gun, shoving your muzzle through things, you're not gonna get called on it. When we take and we start having an uncooperative adversary who's gonna start fighting back, things are going to change. We have something set up here that we simply call a circle drill. And we're doing this in this case with UTMs, which is non-lethal training ammunition. We took our barricades, we took and we built a structure, and we have uh, a bad guy, a non-compliant role player, who has the riot shield, and he is simply circling around the barricade, trying to circle and flank and come back upon the good guy. If that good guy is super tight to the barricade and all he's seeing is barricade in a big chunk of his 170 degree field of view, he's looking at barricade, or he is denying his hips to one side or the other instead of keeping square with the intent of picking up a bad guy before he gets to him, if he turns his backside, he's gonna wind up like that, uh, that poor officer down in Dallas who wound up getting murdered behind a, behind a barricade. We take sympathy on that officer. He was doing what he was trained to do, what he was doing during qualification on the range, getting close to and bracing against the barricade, and then it's used against us. So again, what do we consider to be proper an interval from a barricade? Touch the barricade, big boy step back. This gives us the ability to see more. It gives me the ability to mount the gun before exposing. It gives me the ability to drop back behind the barricade without having to dismount the gun. There are four exceptions to that rule. We're not gonna talk about those today. Give this one a try, stay safe.